Hi, my name is Manish Gupta and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, this new model called as uh, Microsoft's Florence 2 model. Uh, it is a foundational model for vision and vision language tasks. It got released just like uh, a week or two back. So this is a fresh new model from Microsoft. Let's get started. So what is this Florence 2 model capable of doing? So it is capable of doing several kinds of vision and vision language tasks. Uh, I'll go over some of these uh, in, in this part of the video. So detailed image captioning. So given this particular image, you can use this model to come up with very detailed image captions of this kind. So notice how long these captions are. So unlike typical short uh, uh, max one sentence kind of caption, these captions are reasonably large in size and it can generate, uh, uh, you know, really detailed fine, uh, you know, uh, captions covering uh, fine grained details which are present in the image. Uh, the other task is visual grounding task. Here the input is the image and then you want to locate the phrases in the caption. So the caption is also the input. The image is the input and the caption is also the input. And what you want to do is to figure out phrases here and also link them uh, with boxes uh, in the image. So the output that you expect is are, are set of phrases that are extracted from the text, but also linked with boxes on the image. So you basically are also going to predict boxes as part of this task. So Notice the detail at which this, this thing can go. So essentially a small white cabinet and it uh, nicely predicts where is the small white cabinet. That's number two there, uh, right? And uh, then a wooden stool. So that's there, um, you know, television. So that's there and so on. So it can actually ground uh, these phrases which are present in your uh, uh, in your in your uh, um, caption um, with with the boxes in the image. The third task that I uh, will talk about is dense region caption. So here, as you see uh, here, uh, you know, you just don't have these boxes recognized with the uh, uh, small things like motorcycle or cat and so on. It basically has much detailed captions like uh, um, a black cat with green eyes and red collar. So essentially, yes, object level uh, descriptions, but then much, much, uh, much, much detailed descriptions. Right? Open vocabulary object detection. So the prompt could be uh, given this image, locate Mercedes Benz and M2 and Audi in the image, and it nicely figures out those particular objects in the image and nicely tells you, hey, this, this is where they are. Okay. So this is open vocabulary in the sense that the model has not been specifically trained for finding Mercedes Benz, but it can actually find those. So gone are the days where you have to basically be very, very restricted to a certain set of object classes only. Well, you can discover new objects and, uh, you know, uh, the model just nicely figures out those bounding boxes for you. Uh, here is another example. Locate the uh, you, you could basically give it an open kind of a thing. Locate all the objects with category names in the image, and well, it does its best and tries to figure out whatever objects it can figure out, like person, remote control, necklace, and how even house paint kind of stuff and studio couch and so on. Okay. Uh, then the next task is OCR with regions. Essentially, uh, given an image of this kind, what is the text in the image with regions? So yes, of course, you could use Tesseract and several other OCR tools, but this is pretty good in terms of the kind of OCR it performs, uh, even on handwritten text. Right? Uh, or look at this example; it nicely figures out the text and also it tells you the bounding box for that particular text in the in the original image. Region to segmentation, so you can give it this image and you can tell it that, hey, there's a rectangle uh, with this bounding box coordinates. You know, can you find the segmentation mask for the object in, the, uh, you know, encapsulated by this rectangle? So the input is basically the image and the rectangle and the output is basically uh, the, the shape of the car, as you see, uh, I mean, you know, the segment representing the car. Similarly, the input is uh, this image and the rectangle there and, uh, you know, the output is basically the shape of the person uh, 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 represented by the polygon, uh, polygon mask. Right? So this is what you can do using Florence. So uh, I mean, if you try to, uh, you know, if, if you carefully heard what I mentioned, then Florence basically tries to expand the capabilities of vision and visual language tasks across two dimensions, spatial hierarchy and semantic granularity. So from a spatial hierarchy perspective, you start, you, you basically can do tasks at image level, region level, or pixel level. So image level tasks, of course, include classification or uh, you know even detailed caption. Region proposal, uh, region level tasks basically include uh, you know object detection, visual grounding, and segmentation level tasks or other pixel level tasks include segmentation, phrase level segmentation, and so on. Right. The other axis is semantic granularity. So you could basically do things uh, uh, at a very low semantic granularity or a much much uh, coarser semantic granularity. For example, 
you know, uh, or, or very fine-grained semantic granularity, right? So for example, for uh, a description of an image, you can come up with the very small, simple descriptions like person, car, and road, or you can go a little bit more fine-grained saying that a woman riding a bike uh, versus you can actually come up with very detailed captions in that sense, right? So here are two basic, uh, uh, basic axes around which uh, uh, Florence too tries to expand the capability of uh, language and of, of vision and vision language models, right? Uh, Here's an example uh, of the kind of uh, data set that is used to train the Florence 2 model. I'll talk about this data set more in detail on the next slide, but uh, the data set, data set has uh, annotations at several different levels. So given this image, it has annotations uh, at a uh, text-based annotation. So for example, the small caption, little longer caption, and the longest caption there, right? Uh, from a region text pairs perspective, it has the uh, captions of uh, it has it has annotations of this kind. You know, uh, just the boxes, bounding boxes around uh, uh, potential objects, or segmentation masks, or bounding boxes uh, with the short captions, or bounding boxes with medium medium sized captions. Right. Uh, from a text phrase uh, region annotation perspective, which are used for grounding tasks, basically you have like uh, some text captions al along with that, you know, you have these uh, text captions and along with that you have grounding information. So which is the box encapsul uh, you know, covering a particular phrase from this uh, text caption. Or if you basically look at the uh, lo longest text caption, you actually can also have, uh, uh, you know, bounding boxes for, for these longer ones. Uh, I mean, you know, person riding a red bicycle, or red car and and so on. Okay, so Florence two essentially has this unified prompt based representation. So whatever be the task, there are so many tasks that you see here: detailed captioning, uh, visual grounding, object detection, uh, phrase segmentation, region proposal, classification, so on. All of those vision and vision language tasks are represented using a unified prompt based representation. It takes a text prompt as a task instructions and then generates desirable results in the text form. So it takes the text prompt, human prompt, and also an image and then generates the text outputs. Um, it, you know, the way it is pre-trained is using comprehensive multitask learning. So it basically makes use of data set, pre-trained data set of this kind, where you have text annotations, te region text pair annotations, and text phrase region annotations uh, at a very large scale, so as to basically do multitask training, multitask pre-training of the Florence 2 model. So the Florence 2 model has been trained using FLD 5 billion data set. It's actually called as 5 billion data set because it has 5.4 billion visual annotations on 126 million images. So look at the scale of the data set, right? Uh, now, uh, on the previous slide, I talked about three kinds of annotations, text annotations, region text annotations, and text phrase region annotations. Uh, there are about 500 million of text annotations, uh, 1.3 billion of uh, text region annotations, and 3.6 billion of text phrase region annotations in this data set. Uh, the images have been taken from five different properly available data sets, ImageNet 22K, Object 365, Open Images, Conceptual Captions, and Lion. Okay? Now, if you look at the text captions, uh, uh, text annotations, I did mention the previous slide, you have brief captions, detailed and more detailed. And uh, again, region text could be uh, phrase or brief, and then text uh, phrase region um, uh, captions, uh, uh, annotations could be brief, detailed or more detailed, right? Um, so as you notice, if you look at the size of these text captions themselves, typically in Cocoa data set or conceptual captions, you will find brief captions which have about eight tokens, but then the more detailed captions can go as high as 71 tokens in this FLD 5 billion data set. Now, the way they created this data set is in more or less an automated manner. So they basically started off with a very large image collection comprising of those five broad data sets. And uh, then they uh, did this in three different steps. They basically initialized, uh, they used initial annotation with specialist models. So they basically passed these images through various kinds of specialist models. Uh, OCR API. Uh, some of these are offline available models. Some of them are APIs, right? Uh, in a captioning model using uh, uh, object detectors, grounding uh, dyno based uh, object detectors, grounding model, some grounding model, object proposal model, segmentation model, several such uh, nice models are publicly available. They basically use them so as to get those initial set of annotations. Then they cleaned up those annotations significantly by doing several kind of uh, heuristics to do cleanups. For example, they removed uh, uh, you know regions which overlap with each other. They uh, also did some blacklisting of certain kinds of regions or blacklisting of certain kinds of phrases. Uh, they also have uh, therefore text filters and uh, LLM based annotators and LLM based filters also. Okay. GPT based filters, some of them and so on. So uh, and then they basically did, uh, you know, once they actually have the clean data, they uh, trained the initial Florence uh, two model and uh, uh, fine tuned an initial model uh, with uh, small scale enhanced data. And then they did iterative data refinement. So essentially, they found that hey, after these uh, uh, extra annotations that you could get uh, using the initial trained model, you could filter it down further. 
So therefore, they did some iterative data refinement. You can read more details in the paper. And then finally came up with this uh, FLD 5 billion data set, which has these various kinds of annotations, grounding based text annotations, brief, detailed, and more detailed caption. And then it also has OCR annotations, object detection, region proposal, dense caption, all, all of those annotations. Right? Now, the Florence 2 model architecture is super simple. So essentially, it contains uh, uh, an image encoder, and ba basically it contains just a, a transformer encoder decoder network. That's it. That is all that is there in the Florence 2 model. So no special model. The model architecture is super simple. Image encoder so is to encode the image, and then uh, whatever are the user, uh, um, uh, user prompts, basically they go into the uh, transformer encoder. So you take the visual embeddings, combine them with the uh, text embeddings for the prompt, and that goes to transformer encoder, goes to transformer decoder, and then decoder basically comes up with text and location tokens um, so as to solve various tasks. For example, if the task is describe the image, it just comes up with dense caption or large caption. But if the task is about what is the polygonal mask of this region, basically it comes up with this nice segmentation mask uh, in terms of polygonal output, polygon rectangle. Right. So. A little more details about this model. So the image encoder that is used is the DAVIT model. So it's a vision transformer model after all, right? Um, the uh, transformer encoder decoder model that is used is basically initialized from, from BART. Um, the regions basically are described in three ways uh, for uh, uh, different kinds of tasks. So the most popular way is the box representation, which is used for object detection and dense region captioning task. Uh, where uh, uh, the idea is to take the box and represent it using the top left and bottom right coordinates. So four coordinates. Quad box representation. So this one is for non-rectangular boxes. So essentially, uh, the text. Uh, this is useful for text detection and recognition tasks. And uh, here the coordinates of each corner are represented of the quad, starting from uh, the top left going clockwise. Top left going clockwise. Right? Polygonal representation. So this is for segmentation masks and the coordinates of the polygon vertices are mentioned in the clockwise order. That is how these boxes are represented or regions are represented in the Florence 2 model. Uh, they train two different uh, checkpoints uh, uh, of Florence 2, uh, much smaller in size. So as you see, Florence 2, uh, uh, Florence 2B model, the base model is 232 million parameters. That's it. Florence 2 large model is just 771 million parameters. It's not even in the billion parameter range, actually. Okay. So lastly, let's to look at how does Florence to perform. So I've put up some results here. More results are in the paper. Uh, on the in the top half of the slide, you see zero shot results. In the bottom half of the slide, you see few shot uh, or, or sorry uh, fine tuning results. Right. So in the zero shot results, uh, the comparison is done with the Flamingo and Cosmos two models. Notice that these models are crazily large. So Flamingo is 80 billion, while this is the largest model of Florence is like 0.77 billion. So it's like 80 x larger Flamingo model, right? Cosmos model is uh, double the size, right? And the results are shown across several different tasks here. So, uh, you know, across image captioning, uh, uh, you know, a visual question answering and so on. There are various different tasks that you see here. And what you observe is that uh, uh, Florence 2 large model is uh, way better compared to um, compared to uh, Cosmos 2 or Flamingo on all of these tasks, all of these tasks. So the important takeaway is that Florence 2 large model uh, with all the awesome pre-training that has happened on the FLD 5 billion data set, Basically, utilizes is just less than 1% of the parameters of the 80 billion Flamingo model, but is actually better than Flamingo on zero shot. Okay. In fact, on zero shot, uh, uh, the Florence 2 large model establishes state of the art for several tasks like region level grounding and referring expressions, uh, referring expression comprehension tasks. Okay. Now, uh, for the fine tuning results, uh, in short, what I can say is that uh, you know the Florence 2 model has a super simple design, just a visual encoder combined with uh, a transformer based encoder decoder model, uh, but provides very strong performance. So fine tuned on, you know, if you basically look at these results, these results are for captioning task versus visual question answering task, and they have been fine tuned on those kinds of data sets. Uh, you see results from specialist models and from generalist models. Of course, Florence is a generalist model, and there are so many other specialist models uh, for which have been specially fine tuned for uh, Coco uh, for 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 captioning or VQA tasks. And what you observe is that Florence uh, to large model actually gives you. Uh, reasonably comparable or better results compared to these specialist models, even though these specialist models are actually uh, larger than the Florence 2 uh, model, uh, several of them. Like, for example, Flamingo is 80 billion, uh, Pali is 17 billion model. Um, but uh, if you basically look at uh, the performance of Pali, well, I mean, it's slightly better compared to the Florence 2 uh, large model. But if you look at it, well, it's about 20x smaller in size. Uh, Florence 2 large is 20x smaller in size. Okay. 
So in summary, in this video, I talked about uh, two things. One is the FLD 5 billion data set, 126 million images paired with 5 billion comprehensive annotations. And the other uh, is Florence 2 model, which has been pre-trained on FLD 5 billion data set, comprehensive multitask learning uh, in, a, in a unified uh, format where you uh, provide the image and uh, um, human prompt, uh, human instruction prompt in that senses, and you get the output in terms of text or region, uh, region boundaries. Right? Uh, it has shown remarkable zero shot capabilities on uh, various tasks like image captioning, uh, object detection, uh, visual grounding, and referring uh, segmentation uh, among among many other tasks. Right? Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Connect with me on my LinkedIn or look at my research on my homepage. Thank you.